Hey kid! Welcome back! Alright, so we've already had one brass lesson, okay? And if you don't remember what brass instruments are, that's okay. You probably not watched my first brass video. If you haven't, I recommend you go back and watch the first brass video. If you have a brass instrument at home, I recommend that you play along as best you can. But if you have no idea what a brass instrument is, just let me remind you. Basically, if it is an instrument that is completely made out of metal, sometimes it has a bowed uh, horn at the very end, a bell, and it has a mouthpiece. Now, there are different sizes of mouthpieces. So here are two different sizes. I'll come a little bit closer. You can clearly see that one of the mouthpieces is smaller than the other. Now, I only have two brass instruments in this room today, but uh, in this video, I wanted to go over some other brass instruments that do exist. Before I get to that, though, I would like to talk a little bit about playing brass instruments. So, first things first, I'm gonna get my trumpet out. Oops. Now, we, when we started our last video, we were looking at some notes on the board and we were just trying to play those notes. Uh, you may remember these notes down here. Now, your question probably is, well, how do I play higher notes or lower notes? It's all about air speed. So we're gonna play a game, okay? I want you to take your hand and put it in front of you like this. Nice. Now, I want you to take a big breath like this. Remember, we don't make sound when we breathe. I hear kids all the time go, and I'm like, what are you doing? Stop it! Take a nice big breath, and then I just want you to blow cool air on your hand like this. Now, if that air is warm, you're using the wrong type of air. The air needs to be cool. Not a mouth breath, a cool breath. Now the thing is, we're gonna do this again, but this time I want you to hear what I do and try to do it after me. So here, I'll go first. Did you hear that? If you didn't, I had slow air, and then I made my air fast. I didn't make a lot of noise, but faster air speed is how we change notes on this instrument. So for example, if I pick up the trumpet and start using the keys in the lower register, because I'm already blowing at that air speed, it's only going to play notes in that area. If I were to get higher and higher notes, there are these things called partials. Now listen very carefully. By using faster air, I'm able to get higher notes. Do you think these still work even when I get up there? They sure do. Listen very carefully. Right, these still work all the way up. Now, when you start learning your first scales, you will learn how to control your breathing to hit each note just right. But this is not just about the trumpet. Don't forget the other instrument we have in this room, the trombone. That's right. If you haven't seen this before, again, go watch the old video, you guys. But again, I have slides. This is slide position one all the way in. Then it's two, three, just past the bell, four, five, six, seven, would be almost all the way out. Very few notes are all the way out. In fact, here's, just, just watch, just for fun. If you accidentally, oh no, what do we do? If you accidentally took this off of your instrument, just put it back. Just line it up, be very careful, get it back on there. But make sure you put it the right direction. You definitely want the slide lock on the right side or else if you don't have that proper, the slide will just drop. I wonder if I use partials to get higher notes on this instrument too. And let's see if the slide works at different partials too. It seems like 
the slide works at all partials and all levels. But today, we're going to play some more notes from the Standard of Excellence Book 1, page 6. Um, it's All the resources are going to be on my Google Classroom or on Quaver. So if you have an instrument at home and you like to play around, uh, get the stuff off of the classroom and off of Quaver and play with us. Stay tuned! Welcome back. All right, it's time to move forward in our Standard of Excellence book. In our last video, I played parts uh, from Just for Trumpet or Just for Trombone. But this time, this is the full band everything, okay? So the stuff that you're seeing on this page is gonna be the everybody plays at this time, time. Does that make sense? If not, eh, okay, well, my bad. So that being said, we're starting with trumpet, okay? Uh, this is trumpet, just trumpet for now. And we're just gonna start with number one. Now, I explained this in the last video, but I'll explain it again. The written note is not the sounding note. Notice how it says E, and number two, it says D. But if I hold down, see, if I hold down first and second valve and play the written E, let's go see if that's what an E sounds like on the piano. New, 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 new. So the B flat trumpet is a transposed instrument. The note that you're reading is not the note that comes out. In this case, this E is actually a D. Don't ask me why, kids. Don't ask me why. Just go with it. So that means number two, when I play one and three, it says D, but it's actually a sounding C. Crazy, right? Who knew? But first things first, I want you to get your trumpet out, if you have one, and you're going to play with me number one, okay? All together now, I'll count us off. One, two, one, two, ready? One, two, ready, breathe. One, two, big breath. Last time, ready? One, two, and stop. All right, now go to number two. This is one and three. I'll show you. Just in case you don't remember, first one is the one closest towards you, and the third one is the one furthest away from you. There are only three valves on this trumpet, so one and three together. All right, let's do it together. One, two, ready? One, two, ready? One, two, ready? One, two, ready? One, two, and we're done. All right, number three, a whole lot of counting. Now, it doesn't tell us what notes are there. You just have to read the notes on the page. Looking at the top option, it looks like on number three, our first note is an E, and then our second note is a D. So let's do this. One, two, one, two, ready? Off. Two, one, and three. One, two, ready? One, two, ready? Go. One, two, and stop. If you didn't do it quite right, stop the video, go back and do it again. Uh, if you nailed it, great job. We're gonna move forward now. We're gonna go to four score. We're gonna study note C, okay? And it looks like, oh, a zero. What does a zero mean, do you think? Well, yeah, of course it does. That means you don't push down anything. So if I have zero written, that means I just leave my fingers resting on the keys like this. Again, make sure your fingers aren't flat like this. Make sure they're just slightly curved. Just gentle, okay kids? Again, we don't wanna be like this, this is weird. And of course, we don't clutch our instrument as tight as possible. Just a nice little beep, boop, beep, boop, bop, boop, beep, boop, boop. Ask the pros. You don't wanna slam your hands down, you wanna be kind of fluid. So, this is number four. Uh, zero, uh, we use uh, zero fingerings, and then here we go. So, well, let's, let's check our sounding pitch just for fun. So, it's open, so I hear. That note is a B flat. Wow, okay. Thanks, Music Theory, for helping us out here. One, two, number four. Two, ready? Good. Two, ready? 
with one and two on note E, then it goes to one and three note D, and then it has no notes, that's just C. So let's do it together. Number five, then we're gonna go to trombone and do it. One, two, mix them up. Two, ready, go. One, two, ready. One, two, ready. One, two, ready. One, two, yeah, cool man. Hey, you did a good job. So I'm gonna switch it up. We're gonna go to trombone next. Just give me a second to just switch papers here. It won't take very long. I will take this away. Whoop. And I will get out our new page. And you'll never guess, it looks really similar. Look at that. This is proof that we're reading the same notes at the same time. If we were all sitting in band class, we'd all be reading the same music and making the same notes. Pretty cool, huh? So I'm picking up my trombone this time. The first thing it tells us is position four. Now the trombone is a C instrument, a sounding instrument. So if I can find G on the piano, now I'll go to position four on my trombone. So just in case you're not sure, once again, so this is one, two, it's just a little bit further out, three, this is just past the bell, and then four is right here. Awesome. So, get your trombone out, let's do it together. Position four, one, two, one, two, ready? Two, ready? Position seven is way out here. Position four is right about here, so position five, position six. A nice concert C for you. Let me check my pitch just for fun. Awesome. When you become better trombone players, you'll have to kind of adjust your slide to be perfectly in tune with the people around you, but that comes later, okay? That takes time. Let's play number two. The fun continues. I'm having fun, aren't you? <laughs> what? All right. Number two. One, two, ready? One, two, ready? this. Notice that the clef is a little bit different. Looking right here, you can see this clef is different than the treble clef. This is a bass clef. The lines and spaces are different and when we study more music theory down the road I'll explain this to you in more detail later. But for now just recognize this is a bass clef. That means it's for a low sounding instrument. That's right. Now a whole lot of counting, number three, that all makes us shift between notes. You might be panicking right now and going, how in the world am I gonna do that? If this is position four, and this is position six, then it's only gonna look like this. An effortless, seamless transition between notes. Let's try it together. Number three, starting on position four. One, two, ready? Switch, two, ready? Of course, we have two more things to do. 
I love to finish up this lesson with four score and mix them up. And then you get time to practice this before our next brass lesson, okay? And our lessons, when we get into lesson three, lesson four, lesson five, we're gonna be splitting up into particular instruments, including instruments like the French horn and the uh, baritone or tuba, if I can ever get my hands on one. So let's do number four together. And look, it says position one. That means it's all the way in. I'll show you. See? Make sense? I hope so. <laughs> All right, one, two, ready? One, two, ready? One, two, ready? One, two, ready? Awesome, I think it's time for us to do mix them, mix them up, number five. Remember, it's four, then six then back to one. Now, if you're very confused, that means we go from here to here, all the way back into here. You're gonna have to move quick, but you can do it. I'm not giving up on you. So from the top, number five, mix them up, starting at position four. One, two, ready? <gasps> to hit that last note. Whew! I think that's all the time we have for today. So, until next time, bye kids!